all the foolish things to the to him, amen? I can say I was foolish. I was homeless, I was in the streets, I did my drugs, I did whatever I could. But you know what, when I sat there one day and I was doing something for Pastor Vicky, God said, I make old things new again, amen? He said, you were once old in your old ways where you didn't give things, you were doing what you wanted to do, but I made you do it again, you're gonna do what I want you to do, amen? I can tell you I lost my kids to drugs, I lost everything I had, my husband, my house, but I can tell you now, God restored everything almost completely. I got a new husband, I was homeless living in my bed, I got two cars, and then I had no job, but I had a job now, amen? I can tell you, I was looking at five years going to chill prison, but I didn't care where I was. I got on my knees and I said, you know what, homies, I'm going to pray to my God. And I said, Lord, I forgive me for I sinned against you. I promise you to get me out of this mess. I'm not a murderer, and I'm a woman of my word, and I don't want to become a murderer. God spared me for five years of chichilla, amen? I got back everything that was taken from me, with a, and, uh, he, and the bite God said, he said, I said, Lord, I promise I'll serve you if you just give me back the money for my divorce. And if, if I ever get busted for anything again, I promise I'll do the time and so when I walked in, the DA said, if I don't catch you in here again, I'll you're gonna do five years and some. Amen. Don't tell me God can't save you from nowhere. Amen. Amen. I talked I was going to court and Pastor Vic is my witness. I had went to three homes. God was well, I was supposed to go do time. This was it. Pastor Vicky was with me, my mom was with me, and I came to a prophet and I said, pray for me. And one of the, the wives said, well, if you do the time, you gotta do the crime, or whatever how you ever say. Yeah, yeah, thank you. So, amen. So I went to court, but I can tell you, God switched the judge, he switched the DA. I walked in and I walked out. We ran out, amen. We didn't wait. So let me tell you, God is in the condition of restoring you, everything that you've done, amen. He's gonna restore, replace, create in you a new thing, amen. God told me this is our year. You know what, I can tell you, I was torn by that toss blood. I didn't care, I used to do lines like this because I didn't care, I wanted to die out there. I didn't even care about myself. And then he said, what are you doing, are you crazy? I said, I don't, I don't care, I'm gonna die even. But God had a plan for me, and he said, you ain't gonna die, what is dead is already dead, but I'm making you new again, amen? He restored me from the head up. I was tossed back, but I'm new, I'm created, I'm taking care of myself, I'm taking care of a beautiful family. God has been so good. I have five minutes. I just, God is good. I just tell you, He's going to do what He's doing in all of us. Amen? My mind was messed up. Amen. My mind was completely gone. I didn't know how to do a lot. I didn't even know how to be a husband. Oh, wow. Come on, You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just being real. I didn't even know how to be a husband. Well. But I know in Jesus. He started showing me how to do things, and I thank God for my wife for always being a prayer for me. I used to go to her all the time, be like, "Why, honey? I just feel all confused in my mind, like I'm about to lose it." And she used to be like, "Honey, it's gonna be all right." She already knew what the problem was and what I need to do. You know, the Bible say, "If your wife, if one of your, if your husband is saved, your wife is saved. If she's not, if the wife is saved, the husband is saved." So. I thank the Lord that my wife was saved at the time. Amen. He said, how can two, blue, two blind people believe somebody? And so my wife, she was, she was delight. And I was blind, but like the Bible said in Romans 12 and 2, to not be conformed to this world, but by the renewing, transforming of the mind. Amen. And so I, I thank the Lord that he transferred my mind. Yes. Just from watching my wife, seeing how she was praying, seeking the Lord, she was in a crying out to the Lord. And the Lord answered her prayers to come and change my mind and to lead and to be a husband. And ever since then, the Lord has just been showing me how to be a husband. All right. To be a father. And he's still working on me. You know, I don't mean, ain't he worthy to be up there, but he still look at me. He don't look at the outside like man do. He look at your inside and your heart. So he had to make my heart over. He had to make, get them old ways out of me. So from thinking about myself. I was a selfish person. I just thought it was about me. It was always about me. But the Bible tells us in Luke 9 and 10 that he didn't come to say those that was already saved. He came to say those were lost. And I was lost. And he, 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 he came and he healed. He healed. And to this day, I just thank him every day I get up to be in my right mind because where I was, I was like, I was Satan had me gone. I was like one of his right hand men. I'm not even, I'm just telling the truth. He said in John 8 and 32, and you shall hear the, know the truth, and it shall set you free. Because I'm free from it right now, so I can talk about it. You know, and I just thank the Lord from where I came from. 
I thank him for, you know, it just an honor to see what Jesus can do for us. If we just do what he said in his word, follow his word, you know, a lot of people in the end time are deceiving a lot of people. So if you're not rooted in that word, you might get lost or get off track. But if you stay in the word, he will keep you. But if you get off, some people come with some of the truth, but not all the way to truth, a lot of deception. So we have to stay rooted in the word. Yes. Not on what nobody else is saying, but what is the word of God saying? Because right, a lot of us want to always believe what people say, but what the God say in his word. Yes, yes. Because people will twist the word up on you so quick. But if you know that word, it can't do it to you. So just stay rooted in the word. And I just thank the Lord for just renewing my mind because I, don't, I think... If you only had it, you know, you ever had that experience, you know what I'm talking about. A lot of you looking at me like, oh, yeah, that is a bad experience. Like you need to be in a nut house. And I felt like I was a nut. I was lost. But by the grace of God, he saved me. And he had his hand up on me. And I just thank him for it. And I just thank my wife for praying for me when I was, when I was gone, man. It's, it's, I'm telling you, you just want to see and know the thing that I was doing, man, that I know... Even in my mess, he was good. Help me hold the nose. Yeah. Coming up in Watts, Gangster. Come on. Come on. Come on. 38 caliber. Hello. Come on. Free basin. I mean, you name it. Diamonds on every nail. Hello. On airplanes, two cocaine. See, y'all old school. Y'all. I'm old school. We had real cocaine in them days. Not no <laughs> crap. It was real stuff. <laughs> anyway. And selling PCP and how God just delivered me. And I seen somebody I want to see with you over there. Yeah, you going home with me tonight. Uh, I was going to call him a whore monger. A uh, whore. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and how God just delivered me. Yes. And I was chanting and grahanzen. And I would put curses on people, white witch. Oh, yeah. Hello. That's just a little bit. I'm writing a book right now. Just coming all the way up from, oh, my God. I mean, I got so much to tell. And how God, that's why I said, I know I should have been dead. I know the night I overdosed that I should have been gone. Bye. But I had a grandmother. A prayer grandmother. That's why I want to encourage you to keep on praying. I remember Sherry and I, we prayed for how many years? This thing's of value didn't just pop up. We started praying in the 80s on our face every Friday night. And not, and not one or two hours, but all night long. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Every, hello? Every Friday. Every Friday night, we did not, we was on our faces, crying out to God, and when morning broke, that's when we left. Amen. Every Friday. So to have the anointing, you're going to pay a price for it. It ain't going to come easy. You think you're just going to come up and have the anointing and whoa, whoopie do look at me, but you're going to pay for the anointing. You don't know the price that the saints have paid to walk in the anointing. And then God want to know if he can trust you with it. Hello, can I trust you? So I'm here to tell you that if you're praying for somebody or believe in God for somebody to see Venus get a breakthrough, I mean, she really got a breakthrough. Because I used to tell people, oh, well, she's saved again. I don't know if she knew I used to do that. So she's saved again. She wishy-washy, in and out. But this time, I can see that growth. I mean, she got up this morning, and it ain't nothing but Jesus, 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 working on her ministry. And so the prayer. Hallelujah, my forefathers, you know, even my grandmother just praying for me, because I know I shouldn't be here. But the prayer of a righteous man, and you know, you can't get away. So continue to pray for your young people, amen? And I'm not going to stay here long, I'm moving right on. Come on. Hallelujah, glory, hallelujah. And the reason why I talk so loud is because at one time in my life, I could not say a word. That's my daughter, Tina, stand up. And that's my niece right there, hallelujah. When my children were young, like these children right here, I was on life support from domestic violence. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank and praise God for sparing my life. Not one time, not two times, not three times, but four times in my life. I would come into the uh, x-ray room so many times late at night to one day the x-ray technician told me, it looked like somebody trying to kill you. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh! And I start waking up when he said that. My eyes start coming open. 
but I was raised in holiness. Yes. I was raised in a house that I didn't even know how to curse. All right. I was raised in a house where the saints came over late at night and laid on their face before the Lord and prayed and spoke in tongue. I used to stand at the door back because I was the, I stayed up late at night. I saw everything. See, I saw everything. I saw my daddy get dressed, go to the club at night. He used to say, what you doing up? I said, ooh, watching the scary movies, daddy. He said, all right, put my clothes in the lunch room back there for me. Hallelujah! But he wouldn't leave, the saints would come over because they couldn't come while he was home. He's yet to be saved, 81 years old. I take care of him. Yes. Hey, but God get the glory. Hey, my God, my God, my God. I lay on my face before the Lord and thank you that I have a voice. That I can praise him, worship him. That I can... Prayers of the righteous avail of much. I'm a product of prayer. When I was walked to the hospital like this with my youngest daughter, she was seven at the time, and I told her, I said, if mommy pass out, you see that pathway in there? You go get help. She said, okay, mommy. I walked. Didn't know that my vocal cords and my windpipe was crushed from domestic violence. And my ex, who was buried, hallelujah, God get the glory, was buried. He died this year. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. I couldn't even go to him and, and talk to him. Because I went to him many times and asked him to receive salvation. But God said, if you, you go and they don't receive you, wipe the dust off your feet, honey. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. But I prayed for him. I still interceded for him anyway. Hallelujah. I called his name out before the Lord day and night because he was my child's dad. Hallelujah. And when he came up and crushed and choked me to the floor, I was fixing his lunch in the kitchen. We wasn't arguing. We wasn't on dis any, any disagreement. But if how can two walk together unless they agree? Because I was raised in holiness. My mother was saved, filled with the Holy Ghost on fire for Jesus, rooted and ground the soul out to Jesus. I want to tell you, keep praying. Keep praying because the prayers of the righteous avail of much. I'm a product of prayer. Amen. And I believe God. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. Uh, my name is Minister 